Gran Turismo 7 just continues to get better and better. This is an absolutely stunning race at Spa. Keep an eye out for the weather conditions. It's going to turn, well, it's going to be very, very, very surprising. Really hope you enjoy it. Lots of twists and turns. And let's go. Don't know why it's three sorted me. Oh, so much wheel spin, FF car. Look at the wheel spin. <laughs> Here we go. Getting past that Supra. Audi TT on the inside. Remember the camera on. Oh, gone very deep. Don't really want to be in first gear in the Group 4 cars. Try and get a good launch here. The camera on the RCZ Group 4 is like on the roof. Um, maybe I should put a camera on the roof of my RCZ. Maybe I should do that. Can we go around the outside of the Corvette here? No. Take it easy. There's going to be an Audi TT on the inside somewhere. Just clearing it, looking at the radar. Come on, RCZ. What have we got down the straight? There's a Porsche, there's a Lambo, there's a Corvette. Can't even see Lacoom through the mist. Gonna pull out here, go up a gear. Where do we break? Looks like the rain's getting heavier. Oh, God, oh my word, it's all kicked off. The Porsche's gone around sideways. We're gonna rejoin here. And we're already aquaplaning. We are already aquaplaning and I'm not sure being in an FF car is gonna be the best thing for us. Keep an eye on that moisture meter on the left-hand side. If it just clips above that second bar, that means there's just too much water, basically, for the intermediates to clear. Now, as it happens, we're only three seconds off the lead. That 458, I think that's a Patron 458. So it doesn't look like anyone has braved it on the wet tyres, which I guess is good news for us. People are going to go deep here for sure. Yeah, there we go. We'll just try and take a nice line. This is going to be a horrendous corner for us in a front-wheel drive car. Just so grit limited there. Welcome from Belgium. Welcome from the UK. To Belgium. In Belgium. Because we're in Spa. Virtually. Oh! Whoa! Just about survived there with the Atenza. Good move by him, I think, in the end to go around us. Try and get a good exit here. Try and pitch the car in. Again, we don't want to be in first gear at all. Again, I'm going to try and pitch the car in. Now get on. The Ferrari ran wide. The Swift has gone wide. I think the Megane Trophy went wide as well. Megane Trophy, probably not a bad car in these conditions. You'd think it'd be quite maneuverable, but I'm looking at the four-wheel drive cars like the Atenza. A little bumping with the Swift. Try and just brake a little bit here. Oh, a bit of contact. Tenza's going to come back. Barging into the Swift. I'm going to try and go up the inside. Oh, there was another car there, but we somehow got up the inside. It's Touring cars now. It's Touring cars. The Ferrari's gone around him. It's first gear. Coming around second gear. Let's exit, 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 exit. That was insane. I don't know how we survived that, but we did. Somehow. We keep going. Keep going, keep going. Break here into second gear, gone very deep, so people might get us on the inside, got to evacuate the apex there, do an extraction. Now if we can sort out Eau Rouge, we might be able to get a run on the Megane Trophy. The Megane Trophy has never been the fastest car in Group 4 in Gran Turismo, never. Oh, look at this line, we're all struggling. I've kind of made a notional attempt to get the apex there. Anyone looking strong but, oh, yes. Attenza's looking strong, but I'm going to the right side. I might box in the Attenza, unless he can weave through. Look how slow the McGann Trophy is here. That's why it's called the Slophy on the brakes. All into the corner, compresses again. Oh, the Lambo's gone round. There was a bit of contact. And the Lambo's gone. We'll have to keep an eye on the stewards for that one. But I can see maybe the sun poking through, possibly. Going for a dive up the inside. Oh, that's very brave. Or stupid. I'm going to say it's more stupid than brave. It's caused carnage behind as well. Oh, the Super has knocked him off as well. Now it's just us 1v1 v the McGann. Come on. Here we go in my Peugeot. A car that I should know quite well. The handling characteristics of it. Characteristics. Whatever that word is. You knew what I was trying to say. Got the McGann Trophy, the latest KCR driver. KCR Kemp. 
getting a bit overcast again. Wonder if it's gonna deposit a little bit more precipitation onto the tarmac. We'll see. Keeping an eye on the moisture meter, it looks like the curbs are really quite wet. Again, try and pitch this one in. Huge moment from the trophy. You can see the Suzuki Swift. Joshi Race is still with us. Ah, oh, very nice line from the trophy there. Here's a Supra that's come out of nowhere, really. So I'm a little bit concerned about this. I'm going to stay to the inside here. Oh, it's a late move. It was a bit of a late move from myself, I would say, defensively. Little lift, pitch it in. Take quite a bit of the exit, come back on. That might affect our grip here. Going to try and go up the inside on the wet stuff. Trophy's there. Oh, there's some more contact. I'm going to take a wide line. I think I've got to give that one back. I think I've got to give back. There's two of them now looking across. Has he got it yet? Yeah, it's all Kimi Räikkönen and Lewis Hamilton at the spa. What was that? 2007, 2008. Anyone remember that race? Trying to just sneak up the inside again. Oh, this time there isn't really contact, but it's just letting the Supra get away. So I'm going to fold into line here. What have we got behind us? The Atenz are still there. The Swift is still there. Can we catch up with the Supra up Eau Rouge? Let's see. Giving the Megane a little bit of a bump. And the Atenz is coming fast again. The Supra has not had the best exit. Maybe a missed gear or something. It's going to be interesting at Lake Hume. I'm going to push the trophy. Come on. I want him to go. I want him to go. If he's not going to go, I'm going to go. Let's go for it. Up the inside of the trophy. And now we're hunting down the Supra that's been looking very strong. Just looking so good is that Supra. Got to really try and break. Nice. You can see a dry line definitely forming. FF car. Got to be really patient. Not going to get any bonus rotation from the weir wheels there. Try not to run too wide. Oh, dearie me. Come on, just need to hang in here for the back straight. Give ourselves a chance. Give ourselves a chance. He's run wide. He's run very wide. He's run very wide. We're going to come through. We're in the lead at the moment. The attends is coming. I'm losing my voice. Can we hold on to the dry line here? What a race this would be. Starting in very last place. Come on. Oh, I'm nervous now. Palms are sweaty. Just had my uh, mother's spaghetti as well. Purple doesn't really mean too much in drying conditions. Right. Seven tenths, but they're catching. Okay, we just got to hold it together. Fast corner coming up. And then through the bus stop. Pray for me, chat. Pray for me. And like and subscribe. If you're not liked and subscribed already, then come on, guys. And go. Oh, the attendant's gone for a line. I right, stop looking backwards. <gasps> I've gone deeper now, Mac. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm He's close. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. What a race. I like this Peugeot. Peugeots are just OP, frankly.